Hi, it's another fantastic day in Cota de Casa, Orange County, California. We have a new bird for you. He's more popular in winter, but we find him in spring as well. All right, this guy here, this guy is a dark-eyed junco. Junco hyamalis. You may also call him a yunco hyamalis. Now there's over 630 million of these individual birds, which makes him one of the most abundant birds in North America. Now they're common from Alaska to Mexico, California to New York. Now they tend to migrate north in summer to the higher latitudes, but you can usually find them here around our oaks. And you find these guys mostly in partially wooded areas. They're usually simply hopping along the ground, foraging for seeds and insects. So our Coto de Casa oak woodland community is perfect for them. And here are five facts about our dark-eyed junco. Taxonomy, they come from a group of birds called New World Sparrows. So it's related to our common sparrows, like the white crown sparrow and the song sparrow. Now this genus junco, it comes from the Spanish word yunco, which means rush, and that comes from the Latin word yuncos. And a species hyamalis, well that means of the winter, and you can see these guys jumping along the snow in the east coast in higher latitudes during the winter. So there are 15 subspecies of juncos in the United States, and ours here in Cota de Casa is the organ variety, our junco hyamalis organus. Number two, what they look like. So color patterns, they differ from subspecies to subspecies, and even from individual bird to individual bird. Now on the east coast, they're mostly gray and white. In the west coast here, they have a variety of patterns, but mostly with reddish brown tones on their backs and sides. So our Oregon variety here, he's recognized by his black head, auburn colored back. The outer feathers of his tails are white, and it's really noticeable when they fly. Number three, what they eat. Juncos, they forage while hopping along the ground. They mostly eat insects and seeds. They eat caterpillars, beetles, grasshoppers, even spiders. And sometimes they eat berries. Now they're constantly scratching the dirt and flicking up leaves, the pine needles. And where it snows, they'll kick up the snow to find their food. Now they will visit your bird feeder, but they prefer to eat off the ground from the food fallen from the tray. Number four, what they sound like. Now they have a couple of different calls. So mostly while they're foraging, they just make a bunch of ticking sounds. But during mating season, the males, they like to sing from a high perch to advertise to the females and defend his territory. All right. Number five, how do they nest? So the males are territorial, they love to sing, they'll fight off other birds, and you commonly find them fighting their own reflections in the side view mirrors of your car. Now females, they choose the nest site, and she also builds most of the nest all by herself. And the nests are almost always on the ground, well hidden under brush, on sloping ground, low rocks, logs, or roots of an upturned tree. And she'll lay three to five eggs. When they hatch, both parents will care for the young and they leave the nest about 10 days after hatching and our juncos they'll have one to two broods per year sometimes even three all right and the oldest junk on record was almost about 12 years old so there you go that's our uh, dark-eyed junco hope you liked the video thanks for watching bye